I'm Bess Winter, and I'm going to read to you from my story, A Beautiful Song, Very Melancholy and Very Old, which appears in the Spring-Summer 2017 issue of Ecotone, number 23. That summer, flies sang around the trash heaps and grocery stands and alleyways of Toronto. Millions of flies, humming and darting about the head, landing on collars and cheekbones and lips, rubbing polluted legs together before lighting off for road apples fresh plopped from some wormy cart horse, then onto swinging meat at the St. Lawrence Market, the nipple of a baby's bottle, or a roll of sanitized gauze at the Victoria Hospital for sick children, waiting for an open wound. The flies were luck for Leland, who came home from the leather factory, dyed completely red, pinching a clipping from the star. The clipping had been passed among the men who worked in the dye yard, so it was colored at the edges, ox blood and blue and bruise yellow. But Leland had snuck away with it, and he'd held it careful, knowing he might sully it by folding it into a red pocket or clutching it in a red hand. Again, his teenage daughter, Myrtle, waited at the doorstep. Her disappointed look already fixed, like she'd worn it all day in anticipation of his return. She braced herself against the jam, pinning the screen door wide open while the flies wheeled in and out of the house. Even her hair ribbons seemed to wilt in the heat of July. A fly settled on a loose ribbon's end. Myrtle slapped the fly away. She eyed the clipping Leland held up like some flimsy standard. What's that? she asked. Music lessons. Leland gave a flourish in imitation of a conductor and tucked the clipping into the pocket on Myrtle's apron. So that appears in my forthcoming collection of short fiction, Machines of Another Era, which will be released by Goldwake Press in January 2021. Please go ahead and like it on Goodreads or um, pre-order it. And thank you so much to Ecotone for promoting the book.